Hi, Jack. Um, it's, you've defended well for the most part out there, um, but I suppose just the fine margins going forward, is that a reminder of what it takes to compete at this level? Yeah. The real quality, Jack, at the end is is the difference quite often. And Man City are full of quality, full of good players. Uh, we done lots of good things today, but when we got the chances to either you know, create a good opening or to maybe finish a good a good chance off, we, we didn't take it. And uh, I don't think you come to Man City and get loads of them, but uh, we've done our best to, to get some. And can I just ask how Aaron is? Aaron's okay. He's back stiff. His back went into the goalpost and uh, he felt when he lifted his leg up that he couldn't, he sort of was in a spasm really. So my understanding, I got the message through to say that he was okay. And then next, within about 20 seconds, it was noise. He can't lift, uh, move his leg. So, uh, so that's why it, it all changed around at that point. Cheers, David. Thank you. Uh, Rashane, come to you next. Shane, can you hear me? Is that me, Ben? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, David, just your thoughts on Lanzini. He's impressed whenever he's come off the bench this season. Obviously, scored a great goal today. So, what's your thoughts on the performances? Yeah, Manu's, Manu's uh, uh, starting to find some some pretty good form. I've got to say, he's, he's come on. He played well against us in Villa when he came on. You know, we've, I think the games, he's getting a little bit more regular games and he looks in better condition. So, I'm pleased for him. Uh, I thought he, I thought he'd done okay today when he came on, and obviously getting a goal for us is is a bonus. But uh, like overall, he's a really important part of the team, and uh, you know we'll we'll keep using him where we see see the right time in the right place. David, with a number of games coming up, are you a little bit worried about some of the uh, the form of some of your attacking players? Am I not worried about them? Oh yeah, are you worried about the form? Yeah, some of the attacking players. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. No, I've told them. I think that. Uh, I think that, that that we are needing to be better in in that area. I think we've got we've had opportunities, and I think when you get to the top end, if you want to be at the top end, and then you you have to have forward players who are, uh, individually can beat people, can can create goals, can make goals, can be clean with the chances. I don't think we have been in in recent games. You know, I think uh, I could even go back to Europe. We won in Europe in midweek. But I still thought that we're, we're attacking play could have been much cleaner with our chances. So we, uh, it's something we need to work at. But uh, no, that's why if, you're, if you play Man City with the quality of what they've got, their individual talent and their, also their ability to beat you 1v1 uh, or score means that you've got to take your opportunities when you get them. Cool. Thanks, David. Cheers. Simon Stone. Are you only one, Simon? Sorry, um, sorry, David. I'm just going to ask you about um, the conditions in the first half. Are pretty poor. Uh, did you yeah. think that the game might get called off at all? Uh, no, I didn't because I thought that the referee done a good job, and I thought that we all wanted the game to be played. I hoped that it might have helped us, Simon. I thought it might have affected Man City more than it would have affected us. But when they got the goal up, the, actually the worst of the snow came down then, and you know I thought of anything. It, no, we it lost our concentration a little bit. I've got to say the visuals for the ball and that were quite difficult at that period in the game. But uh, look, it was uh, it was difficult conditions, but I was happy to play the game. Thank you. Thanks, Simon. Uh, Tom Clark. Hi, David. Hi, Tom. What was the thinking between by starting Masawaku instead of Bowen today? Uh, I think it's uh, the amount of crosses with Manchester City put in your box from both sides. I think it's how you defend them, uh, the overload both sides, whether they're crossing or whether they're, def uh, you know, whether it's they're taking you on or whether they're crossing to the far side. They're very, very good at it, and I think they're, I think they're probably number one in the Premier League for that. So it's trying to make sure that we we give ourselves the best chance of defending the balls in the box. And also trying to stop them getting in the box. And I, got to th I actually think that we've done a really good job on it today in stopping it. So that was the thought behind Arthur. And also, uh, he just gave us a little bit of left-sided balance, which, uh, which I thought I needed today as well. Great. Thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, James Ducker. Uh, hi, David. Uh, I, hi, I, James. Was just I was just sort of wondering, as an opposition manager, obviously, you know, 
De Bruyne, Foden or Grealish there today, but but what sort of problems Cancelo co- causes uh, an opposition manager in all those positions he he, he takes up? Because obviously the, the first goal came from that lovely pass from him into uh, Mares. Well, I, I think that uh, Sterling and Mares playing really high and wide. I think Man City have changed a little bit. I think they'd altered it slightly last year, but I think they've been back to it now. Uh, it's it's more the positions of where Gundogan and uh, Bernardo Silva cause you problems. Yeah. And their ability, you're, you know, nothing would please me more to wrestle more possession off them. But you know, there's a lot of, a lot of top talent, and it's taken a long time to build a team like that. So the job today was to try and make sure we were hard to play against, but create chances, uh, give ourselves an opportunity to to win the game. I thought we I thought we'd done all that as much as we could. Uh, yeah, they're missing three really good players. We're missing Angela Bonner, who's really important to us as well. So, you know, maybe in, in our terms, we, we're we missing a, a player who's vital for us as well. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, James. Thanks, everyone. Leave it there. Thank you.